Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble campaign guide, I'm going to take a look at Rokalim the Pounder in Thousand Needles. The main feature of the Rokalim fight is Earth Elementals. Rokalim is going to be spawning Earth Elementals that come from this Meeting Stone and they come from this Meeting Stone. Earth Elementals are unbound though, so they don't have to control the Meeting Stones to spawn there. And those Earth Elementals, Earth Elementals only go for the base. They don't damage anything else, they just go for the base. So the first thing you want to do is you want to counter those Earth Elementals. Rebuild something with Elemental damage or otherwise really high damage output so that you can chew through all of that health. Then there's a tower here in the middle with a chest, so you want to take this tower, have control over this chest, and then you have access to Rokalim. Rokalim has an area of effect damage attack, so Rokalim is going to hit everything right in front of him. So here, if you attack Rokalim from here, then all of your units here are going to get damaged. So Rokalim, you really have to just turn Rokalim around. Preferably your attack push comes from here or from here, and then you turn Rokalim around with an unbound tank mini, for example, from this direction, or maybe you send some really beefy tank to come from this side, and then time that with your DPS. So your DPS is going to hit Rokalim in the back and just beat Rokalim up. Here is the Alliance army that I did this encounter with. It's a Tyrion army with Griffin Rider, Safe Pilot, Quillbore, Orgen, Drake and Harpies. So Drake and Harpies are great at countering Earth Elementals. Drake because of elemental damage and Harpies because of the high damage output. You could of course also use minis like Pyromancer, but because Rokalim has stuff like Prowlers and Fire Elementals that sometimes come with the Earth Elementals, so it's a bit more difficult to counter them with ground-based troops. Although there is the occasional Dark Spear Troll as well who can shoot down your flyers. In addition to the Earth Elementals, Rokalim also has Harpies, and Griffin Rider actually is great against Harpies, just shooting them down real quick. Also, Griffin Rider can chip into those Earth Elementals even though it kills them a little bit slower. Then I have Quillbore as the main unbound to put on the other side of Rokalim to tank it. I could also have Earth Elemental of course in that slot, or I could put in some really big beefy tank like Abomination or Molten Giant. I could send one for a pretty long round trip and then bring in my DPS from the other side. So that sort of options you have, Rokalim, just survive the Earth Elementals, turn Rokalim around, profit, and this is what it all looks like in action. Point. They're multiple levels lower, you just don't actually get to do anything. But bandits are definitely a card mini that's used a lot. And could could be could be a solution. Oh dear, missed that safe pilot timing. My main safe pilot has the talent for speedier, speedier descent. So my safe pilot timings are always off nowadays. When, you, when I play the free to play account. Let's see. Die to this one. I think that, that is probably not conducive to the not conducive to the success of the push. So far, so good. Tyrion goes in there. We can go grab the chest from there. It's gonna be fine. Distract a little. Get some harpies in. I do need to try to defend against that because that could... Oh, did I let that too close? I may have let that one a little too close. Need to go pick up that meeting stone. Oh, 
poppies. We got the meeting stone there. That's good. Now we're just preparing the next push a little bit more carefully. And uh, miss the timing a little bit on that. Oh, I didn't notice that. I am getting quite tired here. Say. And that's a bit of a problem. But we're good. we can still clear this one at least. Boom. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.